Welcome to Rise Up Yoga, I'm Ashley. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the Light Seers Tarot deck as we make a yoga video based off of each tarot card. Now in today's flow, you'll have the opportunity to use any yoga blocks if you have them. So if you do have them, go ahead and grab them. If not, that's totally fine. You'll be able to do this flow without them. And then we'll go ahead and meet in a comfortable seat on the mat and we'll get started. Today we're channeling card number three, the Empress. The Empress exudes this creative, nurturing, and feminine energy that is within each of us and radiates unconditional love. Now this is a very grounding energy, connecting us to Mother Earth and to our root chakra at the base of our spine. And just like a tree, in order to grow, we need to make sure we have strong roots that connect us to a stable foundation in order for us to build off of. So in today's flow, we're going to be balancing our root chakra by clearing out any negative energy that is attached to anxiety and fear and by welcoming in energy of grounding and abundance. So, we're going to get started by finding our way to a tabletop position. So you can go ahead and rock forward onto your knees. Bring your knees about as wide as your hips. Wrists directly under your shoulders. Really spread your fingers out wide and press firmly into your hands. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. On your next inhale, drop your belly, take your gaze up, and shine your heart forward as we come into cow. Exhale to round your spine and drop your head, taking your gaze down towards the earth for cat. Really press firmly into your palms so you feel the stretch through the back and continue to flow at your own rhythm on your inhales, coming into cow, on your exhales, rounding to cat. We're really just taking these movements here to start to awaken some energy within our body. I know a lot of us are sitting at our desks or just sitting throughout the day, so by moving around this stagnant energy, we're able to bring some new movement and new life into our bodies. Okay, take one more round of breaths and then we'll meet back at tabletop. Once you're there, go ahead and tuck your toes and on an exhale, lift your knees and your hips up to the sky as we come into downward dog. You can walk your hands out forward just slightly in order to get your biceps in line with your ears. Keep your fingers spread wide, really press firmly into your hands and take your gaze towards your toes. And work to bring your heels towards the earth and don't worry about if they reach the ground or not. It's just the intention of pressing our weight into our heels. Find your breath, taking a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. Right, take your gaze forward on an inhale and then exhale to step your left foot up and then your right as we come into forward fold. Make sure your feet are hip width distance or slightly wider. Start to bring a gentle bend into your knees and then on an inhale, slowly start to rise up, 
one vertebrae at a time until we come all the way up to standing, head being last to rise. Make sure your feet are still about hip width distance. You have a gentle bend in your knees and tuck your tailbone so you have a flat back Roll your shoulders up to your ears, then relax them back and down your spine. Take your gaze forward and reach through the crown of your head so we really feel this long line of energy all the way from our feet through the crown of our head. You can relax your arms by your sides, palms faced forward. And then in this mountain, you can start to sway a little bit side to side, front and back. Just feeling every part of your feet connected to the mat. Then go ahead and find some stillness, finding your balance, really pressing through your feet firmly so we have this strong base, this empowering pose of a mountain. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. On an inhale, you can bring your hands to heart center at Anjali Mudra. And then go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna connect back to our breath. This time, let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Then pause at the top. Then exhale through the nose, feeling a slight constriction in the back of your throat. This is called our ujjayi pranayama. It's our warming breath. So we'll return to this throughout the practice to keep our bodies warm. Let's do another one of those deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. You can imagine you're making the sound of ocean waves through this breath, finding that soft flowing rhythm. Now, Anjali Mudra is really connecting us to the divinity that is within each of us. So really taking this moment here to connect mind, body, spirit, opening to our own inner light, finding gratitude for the abundance that surrounds us and that's within us. A lot of the times we can fall prey to a lack mindset, but just by, just by shifting our mindsets into uh, that of abundance, we can start to move through life with more ease. So we're really going to try to connect to that throughout today's flow. You can go ahead and flutter your eyes open. And then on an inhale, start to press your hands up to the sky as we come into upward salute, palms are face towards one another. Keep your core active and take your gaze up towards your fingertips. Take a deep breath, reaching through your fingertips and then exhale to side body bend to the right. So again, keep your core engaged to protect your low back. And then we're feeling a stretch all the way through our left side body. Take your gaze up towards your left fingertips to deepen that stretch. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, take it over to the left side. Another name for this pose is crescent moon. So coming back to the empress, the feminine energy is also connected to the moon. So just go ahead and connect to that here with one more breath. And then inhale back to center. Exhale to forward fold. You can swan dive forward fold by bringing your arms out long. You can bring them through center line, yogi's choice. So come all the way down towards the mat, releasing your head, letting the weight of gravity pull you towards the earth. Inhale to halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or to your thighs. Gazes down at the ground, so we're working to keep a flat back and flat neck. Take a breath here, pause. 
And on an exhale, plant your palms and then step your right foot back. Go ahead and lower your right knee towards the mat and then really press firmly into both of your feet. Then on an inhale, rise up into a low lunge. Make sure your hips are still square towards the top of the mat, front knee stacked over front ankle. And then hands can come to heart center. They can reach up to the sky as if we're in an upward salute. Yogi's choice though, wherever you are, relax your shoulders, relax all the muscles of your face. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Beautiful, go ahead and release your palms towards the mat, lift your back knee, and then step your left foot back to meet your right as you come into a high plank. Now only be here momentarily, but if you'd like, you can always bring your knees down towards the mat for a half plank. Wherever you are, spread your fingertips wide, really press firmly into the knuckles of your hand, and then press back into your heels so we have this long, flat back. On an inhale, inch forward onto your tippy toes and exhale to slowly lower it all the way towards the earth, elbows tucked into your side as we come to relax everything on the mat. Now go ahead and bring your big toes to touch, really activate through your legs. And then on an inhale, peel your chest up off of the mat, take your gaze slightly up as we come into Cobra. Yeah, you should have little to no weight in your hands. So you can float those off the mat just a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And exhale to lower. Go ahead and tuck your back toes. And then on an exhale, press it back up into downward dog. Inhale to take your gaze forward. Exhale to step your right foot up between your hands. Then go ahead and lower your back knee. Ground down through both of your feet. And then inhale to press it up, low lunge on the side. And go through your checklist. Front knee stacked over front ankle. Here your back toes can stay tucked or they can come untucked and then hands to heart center or reaching up to the sky. We're really feeling this opening through our hip flexors and the stretching through our belly, especially if you're reaching your hands up to the sky. And this low lunge really connects us to our sacral chakra, which is right below our belly button. That's our center of creativity. So again, goddess is this creative feminine energy. So opening up to that area. On an exhale, plant your palms on the mat, lift your back knee. And then step your left foot up to meet your right, forward fold at the top of the mat, feet hip width distance. On an inhale, slowly start to rise up, this time with a flat back. So keep your core engaged as you rise up, coming into a mountain at the top of the mat. Inhale to reach your fingertips up to the sky and exhale, hands back to heart center. Now we're gonna flow through that two more times with some slight variations in each one, really just finding that soft, gentle, flowing, feminine movement, opening to the Empress within. Okay, inhale to reach your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, crescent moon to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, crescent moon to the left. 
Inhale, back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Pause here, breathe. And exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back. This time, if it's available to you, keep your right knee lifted. And then again, find that stable footing. And as you're ready, inhale to press it up into high lunge. Now again, hands can come to heart center. They can reach up to the sky. Yogi's choice. Again, working to open up through our hip flexors, strengthening through our lower body, really connecting to our root chakras, finding that grounding energy. And don't forget to breathe. On your next exhale, go ahead and plant your palms and then step your left foot back to meet your right for high plank. Take one breath here, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. On your next inhale, inch it forward. Exhale to slowly lower all the way down towards the mat. Again, touch your big toes together. And then as you're ready, press up into Cobra. Now you can stay here in Cobra. Another option is to press firmly into your palms as you straighten your arms, coming into Upward Facing Dog. And if you're in Upward Facing Dog, you'll want your thighs hovering off the ground. So we're really just pressing firmly into our feet to give us some lift. On your next exhale, lower it towards the mat, tuck your toes, and then let's lift our hips up to the sky, downward dog. All right, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your right foot up between your hands. Again, find your footing. Really press into all four corners of your right foot. Stay on the back, on the toes of your back foot. And then inhale to press it up, high lunge. Find the position of your choice. Really work to lower your center of gravity by tucking your tailbone down. And then lengthen through your chest by reaching your fingertips up and lengthening through the belly. Really finding this energizing, balancing pose. You're doing a great job. And exhale to lower, plant your palms, step your left foot up to meet your right, forward fold. Inhale to rise, again with a flat back. As we come all the way up, let's bring our fingertips up to the sky and exhale, hands to heart center. All right, and let's flow one more time. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, crescent moon to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, take it to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and then step your right foot back. Again here, stay off of your right knee. And then this time we're gonna start to walk our hands over towards the right side of the mat. As we do so, we're gonna rotate our body with it. So we are coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Work to get your feet parallel towards one another and keep a gentle bend in your knees. Go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. 
And then on an inhale, start to rise up with a flat back as we come all the way up to standing. Now let's bring our heels in, toes out just slightly, and then bring hands to heart center at Anjali Mudra. Take a deep breath in through the nose, lengthening through the spine, really reaching through the crown of your head. And then exhale, start to sink your hips back as we come into goddess. Now here we want to make sure our knees are stacked over our ankles. We're working to get our hips in line with our knees. If coming down that much is um, too much on your legs, you can always come up just a little bit. So find wherever works for you. You can even start to take some sways side to side to take some pressure off of your legs. Wherever you are, just start to embody that inner goddess that's within each of us, that fierce feminine warrior energy, and let that strengthen you and guide you through this challenging pose. Keep your core active, so we're protecting our low back. We'll only be here for one more breath, so you've got this. Inhale to rise up. You can go ahead and relax your hands by your side. Bring your feet to be parallel with one another. On your next exhale, go ahead and come back down to a forward fold. Again, keeping your back flat for as long as you can. Okay. And then go ahead and start to Rotate your toes towards the top of the mat. We're going to come back into this high lunge. And then step your right foot back to meet your left. High plank. Take one breath. Deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale to inch forward. Exhale. Lower it all the way towards the mat. And then Yogi's Choice. Cobra or up dog. Exhale to lower. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes and then lift the hips up to the sky, down dog. Beautiful. All right, inhale to take your gaze forward. Exhale to step your right foot up between your hands. And then again on this side, start to rotate towards the left side of your mat, coming into another forward fold, feet parallel towards one another, gentle bend in the knees. Hands come to hips and on an inhale, we rise. Once you come up to standing, heels in, toes out, hands to heart center again. At this time, go ahead and interlace all of your fingers together. Then bring out your pointer fingers and point them up towards the sky. So they are the only ones pointing up, all the others are interlaced. This is called Kali Mudra. On an inhale, Again, lengthen through the spine, reaching through the crown of the head. And then exhale to sink your hips back. We're coming back into goddess. So find that strength. Kali Mudra really invites us to release any of the energies that are no longer serving us, release any negative energies. So with that intention here, we're releasing all of that and we're letting in more empowerment. We're letting in inner strength and confidence for each of us. So take a deep breath. We'll only be here for one more breath. All right, inhale to rise up. Go ahead and relax your hands and exhale to forward fold. All right, let's go ahead and 
take our toes towards the top of the mat. Another high lunge here. And then step your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Inhale to rise up. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Awesome. So if you need to, you can grab a water here. If not, go ahead and just find a moment of stillness. You can close your eyes. Return to your breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Okay, so now we can go ahead and bring our feet about as wide as the mat. Your toes can spill off the edge just slightly. We're going to do heels in, toes out again. Hands to heart center. Inhale to reach up through the crown of your head. And exhale, start to sink your hips down. Going to come all the way down to the ground into a Malasana squat. So coming down as low as you can. If you have your yoga block, now is the time to use it. If you'd like, you can put it beneath your sits bones as we come into this Malasana squat. Hands to heart center, pressing through your legs in order to get a deeper stretch through your hips. And really the aim of this pose is to get a nice opening through our hips. So that's why we can use this block here for some extra stability. Relax your shoulders, keep that back nice and flat. Now we're going to be here for another minute. So if you have any issues with this pose, then you can always come down to a tabletop position. Again, yogi's choice. Now go ahead and bring your right hand down to the mat in front of your right foot. And we're gonna imagine that we are in a garden and in order to let our garden flourish, we need to root out the weeds. So with your left hand, you can imagine as if you're going to be pulling out a weed from your garden. So pull that up, reach your left fingertips up towards the sky and release it to the wind. Take your gaze up towards your left fingertips. Find a breath as we feel this stretch through the left side body. If you are in tabletop, you can do the same movement by reaching your left fingertips up to the sky. And then go ahead and relax your hand back towards the mat. And then we'll switch hands. So left hand to the mat in front of your left foot. Find that last weed that you're going to pull out of your garden as we make space for abundance and growth. And then go ahead and take out that weed with your right hand, release it to the sky and take your gaze up towards your right fingertips. Okay, and exhale to release your right hand to the earth. Pull now our garden is available for more growth. <laughs> okay, we can go ahead and sit back on our sits bones. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet towards the earth, bringing your knees in towards your chest as if you're giving yourself a big hug. Inhale to lengthen through the spine and exhale to slowly melt it all the way down one vertebrae at a time, head being last to lower as we come all the way towards the mat. Now you can start to bring your heels in towards your hips, still keeping them about hip width distance. And then relax your hands on the mat, palms faced down. Exhale everything out to prepare. 
and inhale to press your hips up to the sky as we come into bridge. Engage through your legs and press your knees in towards your midline. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Now go ahead and lower your hips towards the earth. We're gonna do that one more time. So exhale everything out to prepare and inhale, lift your hips to the sky. This time, if you'd like, you can interlace your fingers behind your back and then start to snuggle your shoulders behind you in order to get a deeper lift. You can also bring your hands to your low back if you'd like for some added support. And you can stay here in stillness or if you'd like a little extra challenge, you can lift one foot up to the sky at a time. So right foot and then left with toes flexed towards your face. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then as you're ready, exhale to lower. Let's go ahead and bring our knees in towards our chest. Give ourselves a big hug. And then let's start to rock forward. You can take one rock, you can take two or three. And then we're going to rock forward onto our knees, coming into a tabletop position. Let's bring our knees about as wide as the mat big toes to touch. We'll come to rest on our heels. Reach your arms out long in front of you towards the top of the mat and then drop your forehead towards the mat as you come into child's pose. If you'd like, you can grab a block if you have one and place it under your forehead or you can place it under your hips. We're just going to find a few moments of stillness here, connecting to the earth, connecting to our root chakras. We are safe, we are grounded, and we are home. Take one more breath. And then let's go ahead and press it back up into a tabletop position. Now let's bring our knees towards the center line. Your feet can stay about hip width distance or they can come slightly wider. And then we're going to relax and sit our heels back on the mat into this sort of kneeling position and find whichever position works for you. So uh, you can bring your hips to all the way towards the mat, or if that's too much on your knees, you can also bring your feet to touch so your heels are resting on, so your hips are resting on your heels. Wherever you are, bring your hands to rest on your legs. Relax your shoulders and reach through the crown of your head as we come into this hero's pose. Just take a moment here and honor that you are the hero of your own life, your own journey. So just embrace that and let that inner warrior, that inner goddess, that inner empress shine. Let's go ahead and bring our left hand down to the mat directly outside of our left leg. And then inhale to reach your right fingertips up to the sky, slightly over towards the left side of the mat. So we start to feel this stretch through our right side body.
Exhale to release your right hand to the right side of the mat. Inhale, left fingertips up to the sky, slightly towards the right side of the mat, getting this awesome opening through the left side body. And then exhale to bring your left hand back down to the mat. Now go ahead and swing your feet out to either side of you. And then we're going to come into a lotus position. So one foot is going to stack on top of another. If that doesn't work for you, you can also just come into a cross-legged seat or another seat of your choice. Then let's bring our hands to heart center at Anjali Mudra. And this time we're going to keep our pinky fingers touching and our thumbs touching. And then open your other fingertip or your other fingers out to the side. So you're making this uh, lotus mudra. If you look at your hand, it looks slightly like a flower. So that's how you can remember this. And then let's bring our thumbs towards our sternum. So really close to our heart center. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Now, if you think of a lotus and where it sits, it sits on top of the water. Its roots are connected to the earth, so it's really grounded. It's grown out of the mud, so really grown from darkness into light. And really, we can say that's what we've done in our practice today, releasing any of that negative energy, we've made space for more growth and abundance within ourselves. Really finding that strong, stable connection to our root chakra and to Mother Earth has allowed us to open our hearts more fully to welcome in more love and more compassion and more joy for ourselves and for those around us. So take another moment here, deep breath in and exhale. And I just want to thank you all so much for showing up with me today and every other day. It really does mean a lot to me and I'm just excited for this journey. So thank you all. We can go ahead and bring our hands to heart center back at Anjali Mudra. The light, the love, the teacher in me honors and reflects the light, the love, and the teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to continue this journey with me, go ahead and like and subscribe. Next week, we are going to be channeling our inner masculine with card number four, the emperor. So I'm excited to see you there.